Bullrings truck bed anchors are the perfect addition to your Dodge Ram. The anchors make it quick and easy to secure almost any cargo in the bed of your truck. These anchors install right into the stake pocket on top of your bed rail and are fully retractable. Snap them up when you need them and snap them down flush when you're done. Each has a thousand pound capacity rating and comes with our no bowl lifetime guarantee. The anchors are sold as a pair and are made to fit short, medium, and long beds. For the Rams, we have three different color options available. Our classic grained nylon, which is a raised fit and sits just slightly above the rail cap. Our stainless steel flush fit and our gunmetal black flush fit. These both sit low against the stake pocket and are perfect if you have tonneau covers that can go over the top of them. Installation on the Dodge Ram is a little bit different depending on the year and model of your truck. On 1995 to 2008 rams, the install is quick and easy. Just loosen the screws at the top of the anchor and drop the metal bracket into the stake pocket. Then pull up on the anchor ring so the metal bracket is up against the metal bed and tighten down the screws with a Phillips screwdriver. You only need to get the screws snug about a quarter inch past tight, so don't over tighten them. Then snap up the ring when you want to use it and snap it down flush when you don't. On 2009 and newer Rams, the installation is a little different. The trucks now come with this plastic rail cap and the stake pockets are covered. In the front of the bed by the windows, you can see this scribe line that shows where the stake pocket is. You'll need to cut out this plastic to be able to install the anchor. You can do this with a box cutter, but you need to be really careful. As you'll see in a minute, these scribe lines don't actually line up with the pocket underneath. If you cut it out at this line, the hole will actually be too big and it might show that gap even after you install the anchors. So what we did was create this router bit that's made specifically for cutting out these stake pockets. It makes a perfect cut every time. It makes it quick and easy to install. All you need is a router and a drill with a drill bit to create the pilot hole. After you made the pilot hole, put the router bit in, into your router and you're gonna set the height just enough so it's gonna cut the plastic and not cut any of the metal. Then drop the router bit in and turn it on. You're gonna to go to one side and then you work your way around all four corners so it eats away all that plastic. After you've made your first cut, go around one or two more times and just get any excess or any slag on the sides off. As you can see, make sure you have your router bit at the right height, just enough so it's cutting away in that plastic. If you have it too low like this, it's gonna rub against and start to eat out the metal and you'll feel that vibration and you'll feel it really hitting up against it. So stop, readjust to the right height that you need. After that, simply loosen the screws, drop the anchor in, make sure all three sides are making good contact. Drop this down on there and tighten the screws. Like I said before, you only need to get these probably a quarter turn past snug. If you get them too tight, you'll start to see the plastic rail on here bow down and start to compress. Then you can snap the anchor up when you need it or hit it down flush when you don't. On the rear stake pocket, you'll see it has this opening here. Most of the time, people think they can install it just like this. But if you look at the plastic, it goes down into the stake pocket lip about three quarters of an inch. And that stops our boring from being able to install. So you also need to trim this out. First, you can use a box cutter and cut out exactly on this scribe line. I usually only bring the box cutter out a little bit. So you're gonna cut the plastic and not any of the metal underneath. And this scribe line is almost perfectly aligned with where the stake pocket is underneath. The other way is just to use our router bit that you already used on the front and our saw bit here in the rear. How this works is you're first gonna use our saw bit 
and set it just low enough so it cuts out that elevator shaft. Once you cut out all four of those sides and that plastic piece drops down, you can pull it out of here. Then you're gonna go around and finish up with our regular router bit that you used on the front and just trim that little bit of plastic around the edges so it makes a perfect cut around that stake pocket. Then same thing, once the pocket's open, drop your anchor in, making sure it's making good contact on all the sides, and then tighten down the screws. The last thing to note is we do have different models depending on if you have a truck with a dewy bed or just a standard bed. Basically on our standard beds, we use this three-legged bracket underneath that perfectly fits in. But on some dewy models, it's a little bit tighter up against the side right here. So we have this version with two brackets on either side that simply fit in. Other than that, the installation is completely the same with the older 95 to 08 models being real quick and easy to fit in or the 2009 and newer models still having to trim or cut that plastic. <laughs>